As you all know from my constant complaining, winter in North Carolina is often a very difficult time to film wildlife. However, there are usually a few spring-like days in February when animals may come out for a brief period of time. If you are in the right place on those rare warm days, you can come across some pretty neat finds. <laughs> Alright guys, check this out. Now this is a little mud turtle. Now this is a fairly common aquatic turtle that can be found in different places across North Carolina. Um, and it's actually kind of cold to be finding reptiles right now. Um, it was a lot warmer earlier today, but the temperature is going to be steadily dropping throughout the night. Now he was in water, probably only about four inches of water. That as the temperature continues to drop, the water is actually going to stay a little bit warmer than the air uh, because water retains heat better. Uh, and so it will be a lot better for him to stay in the water. Now he was probably just foraging uh, for food. They are omnivorous turtles. They'll eat plant matter and they'll also eat any invertebrates or maybe small vertebrates they can find out here in these swamps. Uh, we were not expecting to find any reptiles today, so that is just a super cool little turtle. These guys are like baby snapping turtles, basically. Um, we'll see what else we find. I was already pumped that we found a mud turtle in the middle of February, but there was one more swamp surprise waiting for us on this adventure. Again? Mm -hmm, go ahead. Right, sweet. Guys, check this out. Now this is a banded water snake, Erodia fasciata. Uh, Thomas actually just found him over there in the water as we were looking for frogs. Now this is a cold snake. Uh, this is, it's probably right around 50 degrees right now, maybe a little bit higher. Um, and this is definitely the lowest temperature I've ever seen a snake out in. Um, and you can really feel that he is cold. Now, banded water snakes in other Nerodia seem to be a lot more inclined to be out in colder weather than something like a rat snakes or king snakes. Uh, I'm not really sure why that is. I actually should look into that, but this is oftentimes one of the only snakes you'll see out on days like this or nights like this when it's really cold. Uh, we didn't see any snakes earlier when it was like 68 and sunny, um, but of course now that it's cold at nighttime, We'll find something but what he was probably doing is exactly what we were doing he was probably out there looking for frogs or toads or small fish or really anything he can eat he's actually he feels pretty healthy he has some good weight to him and he's pretty round so i would say all around this is definitely a healthy individual uh, even though he's cold he should be okay because if it ever did get too cold for him he would just go back underground or get comfortable in deeper water now as we've mentioned before, banded water snakes are one of those species that are very commonly confused um, with the Achistron genus being cottonmouth and copperheads. Really, when you take a look at them, they're pretty different snakes. Uh, I'll show you some shots now. The best way to uh, tell the difference is that the banded water snakes do have complete bands that go all the way around their body and are thickest right on the back there, whereas something like a copperhead or a cottonmouth would have almost Hershey kisses that start broad at the bottom and get smaller at the top. Um, and then also, these have a little bit longer body. That's not one. Of, that's not a great way to tell uh, because these can get pretty thick. Now this definitely, I would say, is close to being a mature individual, but they can get much bigger than this. And I've seen, um, especially in eastern North Carolina, banded water snakes up to around four feet long. Um, very cool snake and we will get him back in the water. What an awesome encounter. He's slow, he's so cold. Super cold. <laughs> Look how slow he is. And it's crazy, he's just right in the bottom. And you can really see those bands breaking up his outline. Absolutely incredible camouflage. Well everyone, that's all for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed and learned something new about mud turtles and banded water snakes. If you did enjoy, it would be great if you could leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel for more educational wildlife content. Also, when you are watching this, I will be exploring and searching for wildlife in Texas, which I am extremely excited about, 
but it probably means that it'll take me longer than usual to reply to comments. Thanks for watching everyone, and keep adventuring everywhere. This has been Zeno, of The Wild Report, signing out.